All right. Our next lesson here is uh, miscellaneous substitutions. So, paano ba natin malalaman kung, or kailan ba natin malalaman kung gagamit na tayo ng miscellaneous substitutions? So, this is usually used for integrands containing trigonometric functions na hindi masasatisfy ng uh, gamit ng ating basic integration uh, formula. So, this is one of the technique of integrations, uh, integration, na na, na na discuss na natin di ba we are done with trigonometric uh, transformation we are done with the integration by parts we are done with trigonometric substitution partial fractions and algebraic substitution so this is one substitution na gagamitin natin for integrands containing say if i have here dx over sine x minus cosine x minus 1. So as you can see, this contains uh, two trigonometric functions, sine and cosine x, pero hindi natin masasatisfy gamit ang basic integration formulas. So of course, uh, kung ito yung gagamitin natin u, dapat ang numerator natin merong derivative nito kung gagamitin natin siya ng ln. And of course, hindi siya kaya dahil meron tayong um, in between operations between these trigonometric functions. So, dahil dyan, gagamit tayo namin sila yung substitution. So, paano natin siya gagamitin? From algebra and trigonometry, I have here a right triangle. So, of course, this is a right triangle. Meron tayong mga sides, hypotenuse, adjacent, and uh, opposite in reference to this angle X. So, since right triangle yan, dapat masatisfy this Pythagorean theorem. So, this is called special Pythagorean triples. So, to make sure na yan nga ay isang or nag-represent ng sides ng isang right triangle, so satisfy natin siya by substituting it to our uh, Pythagorean theorem. So, hypotenuse represents 1 plus y squared. Squared. If 1 minus y squared is a squared, and then we have 2y raised to the second power. Expanding, we have 1 plus 2y squared plus y to the fourth equals 1 minus 2y squared plus y to the fourth plus 4y squared. So combining these two gives 1 plus 2y squared plus y to the fourth, which is exactly the same as that of on the left. 1 plus 2y squared plus y to the fourth, satisfying Pythagorean theorem. So, in miscellaneous substitution, ang ating gagamiting substitution is y is equal to tangent one-half of x. So, if y is tangent one-half of x, solving for this angle one-half of x, taking the inverse tangent on both sides, inverse tangent of y is therefore equal to half of x. So, cross-multiplying by multiplying this both by 2, so we have x is equal to 2 tangent inverse of y. But inverse tangent of y can be written as r tangent of y, whose derivative is dx is equal to 2 dy over 1 plus y squared. So this is 2 dy over 1 plus y squared. So ito na yung ating gagamiting substitution dx. And then for y is equal to tangent inverse of x. So, syempre, meron tayong right triangle. It's always associated also to the six trigonometric functions sa ating famous Sokatoa and Chiyotao. So, it's for sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant, and cotangent functions. So, for sine, that's opposite over hypotenuse. So, sine opposite is 2y. Opposite to that angle x is 2y over our hypotenuse 1 plus y squared. And then for cosine, that's ka. Adjacent to x is 1 minus y squared. Hypotenuse 1 plus y squared. For tangent, we have opposite 2y over 1 minus y squared. That's towa. And then for cosecant, that's the reciprocal of sine. So I just need to take the reciprocal of sine function. So that's 1 plus y squared over 2y. For secant, that's the reciprocal of cosine. So 1 plus y squared, 1 minus y squared. 
And then for cotangent function, that's the reciprocal of tangent, 2y, and denominator, 1 minus y squared, and numerator. So these are the formulas or the substitution na gagamitin natin. So ito, this one, and of course, our dx. So balikan natin yung ating example kanina. So since meron tayong given na dx over sine x minus cosine x minus 1, so from our substitution na na-derive, dx is equal to 2dy over 1 plus y squared. So that's our first uh, na na-derive kanina. dx is 2dy over 1 plus y squared from y is equal to tangent half of x. So from this Pythagorean triples, sine x from the Pythagorean triples na formulate natin yung equation sine x which is 2y over 1 plus y squared and cosine of x is equal to 1 minus y squared over 1 plus y squared. So substituting to our integrand, this is integral of our dx, your numerator, 1 plus y squared, 2dy, sine x, that's 2y over 1 plus y squared, minus cosine x, 1 plus y squared, 1 minus y squared, minus 1. So simplifying your denominator, 2 is a constant, pwede ko siyang ilabas outside the integral sign, so magiging dy over 1 plus y squared, all over our LCD on the denominator is 1 plus y squared. So this gives us 2y minus the quantity 1 minus y squared minus the quantity 1 plus y squared. So this LCD divided by 1 here is 1 plus y squared times negative 1 is negative quantity 1 plus y squared. So simplifying by distributing this negative in each term here, also here. So this gives us 2 integral of dy over 1 plus y squared multiplied by the reciprocal. So there's a rule sa ating complex fractions that when a is divided by b and divided by c over d, that is equal to a over b multiplied by d over c. So this is dy over 1 plus y squared times the reciprocal of your denominator. And then the simplified form by distributing the negative sign, that's minus 1, that's plus y squared, that's minus 1, that's minus y squared. Then you have here, 1 plus y squared cancels out, y squared cancels out, and then we have 2 integral dy over 2y minus 2. But 2... Kaya naging negative 2. But 2 is common, so that's dy over 2 times the quantity y minus 1. 2 cancels out here. So from this very complicated integrand, mako-convert na natin siya into very simple ln of u. Or integral of du over u is simply ln u plus c. So if u here is equal to y plus y minus 1, our derivative u is simply dy. So that is integral of du over u whose integral is ln u plus c. But what is this u? y minus 1. So this gives us ln of y minus 1 plus c. But what is this y? So from our substitution, y is equal to tangent half of x. So remember, doon nagsimula ang lahat by setting y is equal to tangent half of x. So substituting it back to its original function of x, we have tangent 1 half of x minus 1 plus c. So that therefore is our final answer there. So let's try to solve another example. What if I have integral of sample number 2, 
we have integral of um, say secant of x over 4 minus tangent of x dx. So let's say I have here 3. Secant of x, 4 minus 3 tangent of x. So again, from our substitution, dx is equal to 2 dy over 1 plus y squared. Again, that's our dx. Secant is 1 plus y squared over 1 minus y squared. 1 plus y squared over 1 minus y squared. So that's our secant function here. And then for tangent x, we have 2y over 1 minus y squared. Okay, so substituting there, secant is 1 plus y squared over 1 minus y squared over 4 minus 3 tangent of x is 2y over 1 minus y squared multiplied by dx, which is 2dy over 1 plus y squared. So simplifying, we have integral of 1 plus y squared over 1 minus y squared all over denominators LCD is 1 minus y squared. We have 4 times the quantity 1 minus y squared minus 6y. So negative 3 times 2y is negative 6y multiplied by 2dy over 1 plus y squared. So again, same rule kanina. This is your numerator. This is your denominator. Take the reciprocal. So we have 2 here again. So I can factor that out. So this is 2 integral of 1 plus y squared over 1 minus y squared multiplied by 1 minus y squared all over 4 minus 4y squared minus 6y. So again, we multiply sa reciprocal ng ating denominator. And then this must be multiplied to dy over 1 plus y squared. Then what will happen next? So ang gagawin natin, cancel out lang tayo dito. That's 1 plus y squared. So magkakaroon tayo dito ng 2 integral of 1 plus y squared. Oops, 1 plus y squared cancels out also. So, I, so this numerator can be simplified to, again, that's dy over 4 minus 6y minus 4y squared. So this can be simplified to 2 integral of dy over 2 times the quantity, 2 minus 3y minus... 2y squared because 2 can be factored out. So that cancels out. So this becomes integral of dy over 2 minus 3y minus 2y squared. So magigi siyang uh, using factoring, pwede natin siyang i-factor in denominator integral of dy over say Uh -huh. 1 minus 2y factor ng 2i2 and 1 pwedeng negative 2y this one is positive y so this is 2 times 1 is 2 <clears throat> this is y this is negative 4y so okay negative 3y so these are the factors so therefore this can be solved using partial fractions case 1. So again, from this very complicated integrand, pwede natin siyang solve into partial fractions case 1. So let me just rewrite the given here. Kasi medyo 
yung solution natin hindi na magkakasya dito. So, i-rewrite na natin siya as dy over 2 plus y 1 minus 2y. Okay. So, since partial fractions case 1, kasi it's siya ay distinct linear factors, so this can be equated to a over 2 plus y, the first factor, plus b over your second factor, 1 minus 2y. Then multiplying it by its LCD, so 1 is equal to a times 1 minus 2y plus b, 2 plus y. So equating your first factor to 0, <clears throat> 2 plus y is 0, then y is equal to negative 2. Transposing the 2 on the right, so magkakaroon tayo ng 1 is equal to 2 minus 2, that cancels out, so we have a, 1 minus 2 times negative 2. So this is 1 equals 5a. Then a is 1 fifth. If a is 1 fifth, so we can solve for b by substituting 1 minus 2y is equal to 0. Then you have y is equal to 1 half. <clears throat> substituting to our given. So 1 is equal to 1 minus twice of 1 half is 1 minus 1. So a cancels out. So B here is 2 plus 1 half. 1 is equal to 5 halves of B. Then B is equal to 2 fifths. So having that solved, our integrand now becomes integral of the quantity. Your A, 1 fifth over 2 plus Y. B is plus 2 fifth over 1 minus 2 Y dy. So this is one-fifth integral of dy over 2 plus y plus one-fifth integral of 2 dy over 1 minus 2 y. So of course, ang if u here is this one, here's your derivative. So if u here is 1 minus 2 y, ang derivative natin ay negative 2 dy. So all in to do is to provide negative and then compensate negative outside here. So this is one fifth ln of two plus y minus one fifth ln of one minus two y plus c. So since one fifth is common, I can factor that out. Ln of two plus y minus ln of one minus two y plus c. So using properties on logarithms, this is one fifth ln of 2 plus y over 1 minus 2y plus c. But then again, y is equal to tangent half of x. Therefore, this is 1 fifth ln of 2 plus tangent half of x over 1 minus 2 tangent half of x plus c. That will be our final answer there.